Today on Tesla Tips and Tricks, we're going to give you all the options on how to run a front license plate or not on your Tesla. All right, so you live in a state where a front license plate is the law, it is required, and you're wondering what your options are and how many options there might be. Well, I've got six, and there might be more, but I've got at least six options on what you can do about running a front license plate on your Tesla. And uh, hey, hey, it's Kerry uh, with Tesla Tips and Tricks. Sorry about the close up there. Thanks for joining us. Um, Okay, so here are the six tips, and I'm going to let you know about the uh, the one that I decided to go with uh, that seems to work best for me. All right, so here are the six choices. Uh, the first, of course, is running no plate at all. I usually do that. Um, I'm in California. Yes, I know it's the law, but I just don't like the way it looks. I haven't been running a plate since like the 80s, so I really don't plan to much now. Um, it just looks better this way, and so far, so good, right? I'm playing the odds at this point. So I usually run no plate, but I, I'm telling, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to be running a plate and how I do that uh, in just a second. The other one is the Tesla stick-on plate holder that comes with the car. Now that's semi-permanent. Yes, you can of course pop it off later. You're going to have all kinds of goo on the front of your car, and you have to scrape that off with goo gone and carefully get that off. But yes, once you put that on, it's kind of there now. So if that's the easiest move for you, then go for it. There are two uh, paid versions. They're, uh, you gotta lay down some cash for this, but they look amazing. I mean, and in all honesty, they look incredible. It's like five seconds on, five seconds off. Uh, you've got the snap plate solution and the quick banded solution, and both of which uh, look great. And if I ran a plate more, I'd probably get one of those. There's of course in California, a legal sticker plate. It's a license plate wrap or something like that. I'll, I'll find the link and I'll throw it down in the description. So it, it kind of molds to the front of the bumper. Um, if you're gonna run a plate, probably looks the best. Um, and then there's the way that I'm gonna do it. Uh, we're going on a trip to San Francisco and we have a, a, a track pass uh, for tolls and bridges and stuff. And I hear you kind of need a front plate for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on just for this trip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Tesla stick on bracket that came with the car, the plastic thing, with the red backing on it. And I'm gonna drill a couple holes on it and mount it with some bolts and some butterfly nuts uh, to the grill. I've done it before, looks great. It's pretty temporary, because I mean, it takes, I don't know, 20 seconds to undo the wing nuts and you're done. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on today's Tesla tips and tricks. All right, so let's show you everything you need to uh, get this project done and effectively. So again, I'm using the Tesla stick mounted uh, plate holder, but you can see where I drilled holes. I'll show you that in a second. These are the materials being used. Now the F593C is uh, what's on the top of the bolt. You can see they are five inch bolts. They have rubber on them. You can get all this stuff at your local hardware store or big box store. Uh, one fourth, one quarter size wing nuts and I use a one quarter uh, drill bit to put the holes in. And so those are all the things that I'm gonna use. Now, the Tesla uh, stick mounted plate holder, I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of this. And the holes I put are right here and right here, kind of like right in the middle of this thing and this thing. So there you go. Oh, also I put some uh, pads on the other side because that's where it touches the bumper of the car and I leave the red stuff on. I clip this here and this here, uh, the red stuff, but I left uh, the red stuff on because you don't want it to stick onto the bumper. These are the bolts for the, uh, the actual plate. So there you go. This touches the car. These are the holes. I use the one quarter drill bit. And so up next, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install it to the grill and you'll see all that. It's pretty cool. All right, so you're gonna wanna put the bolts in the front way, like that, and that way it's ready. This is the bottom. This is the top with the pads, as you can see, pads. And we're gonna just put it right in the middle of the car and uh, attach it with the wing nuts. I'm gonna put the wing nuts on ahead of time though, so hang tight on that. Okay, 
So we're going to attach it to the very center of the car. You can tell by the, uh, the different uh, portions of the grill. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to put it right in the middle, which seems to be right about here. We'll put these sideways. Put those in. I think I actually did the wing nuts too far. Let's see here. I'll screw it in. Now, some may ask, is this going to block airflow? Yeah, probably a little bit. Um, I don't think it's anything to worry about. So, um, I haven't had any problem in 100 degree heat. So, I think we'll be good to go. You just kind of stick your finger back there, hang on to the wing nut, and screw from the front. And it should be good to go. Um, and it actually looks pretty decent. I mean, I don't really like having a plate. But for the most part, I mean, if you're going to have one and you need it for the purpose that we're going to use it for tolls and bridges and stuff in, in Northern California, um, this will work out nicely. So I got the right, the left side done. I'm going to hang on to the right side here, back here, and just kind of screw it in place. It takes a little bit of effort. Um, it doesn't really touch anything on the bottom, so I just, I don't have the pads on the bottom. And... Um, Again, this isn't permanent. It's um, actually much easier to take off than to put on. And it gives you that option, a real cheap option. I mean, all these pieces, all these things are found at the hardware store for like under 10 bucks. So if you're looking for the cheap option of, of getting your plate on temporarily and not wanting to stick it on your car, um, I think this is the way to go. So again, this is the Tesla, Tesla stick-on uh, license plate holder. I put some pads on the top, got some uh, bolts, wing nuts, and uh, everything can be found at the hardware store for like 10 bucks, if that. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We, uh, we've got lots planned. I've got so many notes on uh, different tips and tricks. Uh, for your Tesla. So uh, thanks again, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.